was young and he was visiting his relatives in West Virginia. So um, he's been also very instrumental with citizens for Fort Monroe National Park. And so we're always um, interested in what's going on at, at Fort Monroe as well. And he said that um, it looks like there might be another 44 acres added to Fort Monroe National Monument, so that's a whole other story. Um, but he's been working as the president of Citizens for uh, Riverview Farm Park, and um, he's uh, been working on this for uh, uh, quite a while now. And uh, he is uh, going to uh, uh, tell us about, in his presentation, the um, the events since the quote unsolicited proposal for residential development of the of the city farm, another one, <laughs> prompted by a um, spontaneous outturn of citizens at a Newport News City Council meeting back in December of 2016, and it's been a hot topic ever since. So give them a warm welcome, Adrian. Well, first of all, the way it started, in October of 2015, almost four years ago now, I was here at Sierra Club, John Dawson was here, and we got to talking about the city farm because we knew that the prisoners had been moved out and we were worried about what was going to happen. The next month, a uh, few of us got together and we started, eventually we created the citizens for Riverview Farm Park. Amen. Um, next slide, please. Now, of course, it got the name Riverview because it was supposed to include the river, the riverfront. And you can see in this outline, you know, it's kind of a roughly outline, but the outer the yellow line is the outer boundary. HRSD has this part inside it. And it also was to include the Former Mitchfield Dump landfill up there in the right corner there. So, and in the marina, city farm. And, and the fact is, all of this used to be in the city farm. Over the, and uh, and when they, de they decided in the 90s to make it all to make it a park, they still had prisoners down by the river, so they had to keep that separate. But it was supposed to be done. Actually, it was supposed to be done more than 20 years ago. They were supposed to be moved out in the 90s, but that never happened. Um, uh, let's go on the next slide. Uh, this, of course, is a great aerial view of the area, and uh, you can see the Mitchell High School's up here. The parking, main parking areas here with the playground, picnic areas, HRSD, gymnastic center, and here's the gate going into the city farm. What is HRSD? HRSD is the Hampton Road Sanitation, Sanitation, Sanitation District. So that's <laughs> the sewage. <laughs> so, um, um, but anyway, as you can see, this is heavily developed residential areas. You go farther over to Warwick, then it becomes commercial. On the other side, Jefferson, it's heavily commercial. It's the main shopping area, Patrick and Henry area, and the Oyster Point area over there, shop, over there shopping. So we were fortunate in a way that there was this city farm that kept it from being developed all these years. And now it's, not the, it's really the only substantial piece of land on the river that could be a park uh, north of the uh, you know, um, Hilton area, actually. Because there's Huntington Park. If you're talking about waterfront parks with beaches, there's Lincoln Park, Hill, Huntington Park, and then this could be one. But uh, there's nothing else up in this area that's really substantial that could be a part of the water. Let's go on. Uh, the only place you can actually legally see, get down to the river is on this pier. You go down a little path next to the HRSD fence and you get to this little pier, go on to the next. And it's a nice little pier and you can see lovely view from there. And there's a beach. 
Now, I've seen people on the beach they aren't supposed to be on that beach, but uh, that's about the only beach. And uh, a few years ago, I went out in a boat up down, I started up uh, on the Lloyd River and went down to the uh, James River uh, to the pier there at uh, Huntington Park and took videos. And you, you can imagine how many huge houses with piers, private piers, and of course, the country club, all these things along the river, but not much as far as what the public, the general public, can use. Okay? Keep going. Um, when you go back there, you feel like you get away from the city. And uh, this is, uh, you're looking now from close to where the gate is in the city farm, up toward um, Mitchell Road. To the right, the next one here. This is the brick barn that was torn down October three years ago. And go on, you can see, keep going. That's what they did to it. And we won't discuss why they did it, but we, we can pretty much assume they wanted to get developed done as soon as possible. Okay, next one. Now, I'm going to skip over 20, uh, a lot of things because we don't have a lot of time. But I will say what happened shortly after that barn was torn down, the city had this secret meeting, or it was a closed meeting, we won't call it secret, we'll call it a closed meeting. And it was, and the only reason the public found out about it was a reporter at the Daily Press. And there was a developer that came in. And that developer was represented by one of these speakers here. Tw 26 people spoke on that night. And this was spontaneously, on December 13th. Imagine trying to get all these people out that, right before Christmas to speak. But this was spontaneous. Most of these people just came out on their own. And uh, 25 out of 26 spoke against any kind of development there. And the one for development was one of the partners or employees of the development. Um, the next one. So, going on with the 2018, because we have to skip over a lot now. 2018, we really got involved. We decided that we, there was an election coming up. And we, by that time, we had gone to so many city council meetings and other uh, other things, that we actually asked each candidate, there were 14 candidates running for either mayor or a city council seat, and each one agreed to come and talk to our board members. So each of these pictures represents one of those uh, candidates, 14 of them. And then we put that on the website. So we didn't endorse anybody, but we made it clear if they signed our petition. So keep going. Not sign the petition. We put that on it. And there's other comments they have made. We keep going. The no, neighbors, of course. No, go back, go back. Go on. back. You won't see that. That's David name. Jenkins. And he was he endorsed by that. the Sierra Club. So we put that in view, endorsed by the So keep going. And um, so just keep going. So we put that on the website. And we, we went to the various candidate forums and had questions. A lot of the questions uh, came out in those forums. Now, as a result of that election, we got Dave. So that was an improvement in what was there before, definitely. Uh, that's all I'll say about that. But <laughs> City of Newport News, future land use map. That was the next <coughs> issue, the uh, comprehensive plan. Now, the comprehensive plan, first it went through this committee that had meetings, and then for a time they didn't have meetings, and then they started up having meetings again. And, but after they came up with something, they sent it on to the Planning Commission. Well, what the future land use map says is what they want each parcel in the city to be in the future. It may not be that now. Go to the next. Um, so what they did, this is the city farm, this is actually what it, looked like as far as zoning. Green, green for uh, parkland. Now go to the next. 
Um, that's close up to the next one. Okay, this is what they did. Uh, somebody along the line put this striped section in and called it understudy, understudy designation. There's no such standard use of the term understudy for, for land classification. But what we did, we went to those meetings and we had more people going to those meetings than came to that first council meeting that I told you about and go to the next. And, um, and so the Planning Commission recommended, there were seven members there that day and all of them voted to send it on to the City Council with the future land use of that land uh, being parkland. And to the next. Um, so we got good headlines from the Daily Press. Mm -hmm. Thank you. <laughs> and just keep going. And, but the next thing was city council, and that was a big question because we had gotten some opposition from some people on city council and some indifference from some others. We had at least a couple, we, two or three that we thought we could count on pretty much, but uh, we weren't so sure. We'll keep going. Bit of fight is what was uh, suggested, and keep going. And we'll be took time to have a little song to sing, but keep going, keep going. So we have this um, first rally uh, outside the city hall. You can see Robin there being interviewed by Channel 13. And keep going. And so we had people out there, and again, we had sent out emails or put something on Facebook, and these people just came out and joined us. And that was there. Mm -hmm. And keep going. Yep. Yeah. Okay. So the next thing was a public hearing at the city council. And um, you know, you're never sure how many people could come out, but we had this. We had more people. Like I said, we had a lot of people at the 2016 meeting but we had even more of this one come and speak. Keep going. We had, look how, this is uh, in August. Imagine in August is, is very slack uh, as far as attendance. Keep going, keep going, there's four of these. See, it's packed. Okay, I, I, I have a few photos. I, I don't want to put everything up here because it would take a long time. But you can see we had some young people. We had older people. Stop. <laughs> So we had young people, we had older people, and people in between speaking about this. We won the vote five to two. So they kept it in the uh, comprehensive plan, the future land use map, as being uh, parkland. Okay? So on channel 13, they had a nice ride up. And then on this one, you know, a couple of those council members in particular were all saying all along that the city farm is not part of Riverview Farm Park. But this is a city produced map. The green outline shows where the parkland is, and it includes that. It even goes over and includes the marina. It's up here, including the Palmer landfill. So it includes all that. That's from the city. And we had couple of people on the council, at least, that were saying otherwise, and you wonder where they get their information. Now, the next one was kind of a suggestion. One thing we would like to see in the future would be a trails along the waterfront, for, like they have up here in the upper part of the park, uh, that bicycles and, and people can walk along these trails. But that's just a suggestion as far as when you, when you Design the trail, you have to take into account the topography and what's there. So, uh, okay. And now, in some more aerial views. Now, this is kind of the hindrance now to us getting on to all these. That's the uh, city impound lot. There's maybe 30 cars in there, of trucks. Um, the canine units, the kennels, they, they use. Some of these, I'm not sure which building, but they're, they're on there somewhere. Which one? 
Just underneath where your hand was. Up a bit. Up a bit. Those two there. These up here? Yeah. Okay. So, um, and this is where the barn used to be, right there. Uh, on. And in this one, you can see where they dug out for the um, archaeological dig. You keep going. And, uh, okay. And they found this well. This is a well. They got a lot deeper. As they went down, they had to broaden it out. And they bring out things, and then they shift it to, to get the loose dirt out to see what's left in it. Now, this is uh, certainly a great time. Uh, it's a foundation of a building, as you can see. I think it's the courthouse. It could be the courthouse. Yeah, that's what was suggested. That's the view from uh, close to where the prison used to be, right behind it on the waterfront. And the city farm gym, what's going to happen there? Uh, these are some photos from the marina, and they, you can see they're in sequence here from left to right. And then the next one, keep going, and you win. The last one, you get to go back. Oh, go back? Go That's back. Go back. I was going to say, when you get to the last one, you can see at the end of Deep, Deep Creek goes out to where the Warrior mm -hmm. River comes in, but you can see across the James River through the other side. So. Was that the Minchville Marina you were showing? Uh, they call it's, on the the it's, the, it's on the Mitchfield side, yeah. yeah. On the okay, it's side. called Mitchfield. Yeah, Marine. some people call it Deep Creek. Deep Creek's mm -hmm. the other side. But Deep Creek, yeah. yeah. On Deep Creek Deep Road. Road. But it's all on the Deep Creek. It's all on Deep and Creek. On the Road. Uh, these are some of the fishing boats. This is the uh, CNU yeah. Sailing Center. Uh, some of the, the boats, they have a building also. Now, the other thing that's coming up, and there's... Um, the Planning Commission will be, uh, there's a notice on the table there, along with some photos from uh, some about the interview also. But uh, there's a, a meeting coming up soon where the Planning Commission is going to go over this Demby Ward plan. Yeah, October 6th. Yeah, it's October what? 6th. 6th, okay. Month. Yeah. So what it is, when they start, they decide the boundaries for the plan, they purposely left out Riverview Farm Park. But uh, you can see it, when they talk about natural systems, they did put that in there as P being important. And one of the goals is to expand access to the water. And um, I don't think you can get too much by uh, putting people down on some of these creeks behind people's houses. You really need a substantial piece of land that's public for people to have access to the water. Adrian, why don't they put in the landfill and let them get, get that green going right to <coughs> the water's edge? That, that, that's not Riverview Farm Park layout there at all. No, no, that, that, that's, that's like I said, they, the people that did that yeah. were too... Uh, it's totally you know, wrong. Yeah, they got it wrong as far as the shape of it, because it should go all the way down here. Right? Um, but uh, this is connectivity. The, the other thing that would be necessary, would be important, would be have better connections through the neighborhood. Uh, because of the, like Lucas Creek Road is very narrow, so it's hard to get down if you want to ride a bicycle or walk. You know, it's not that safe. And uh, this is just comparing how far it is from here, to, from Denby, Ward, all the way down to Huntington Park. It's uh, almost 10 miles, whereas the next one, if you had people going to Riverview, it's, it's, uh, it's a little like 3.3 miles, something like that, but depending on which way you go. And, uh, and people were, some people were saying, particularly one, one, uh, <laughs> one council person in the North District, who, who, who was very strong on the North District, that, uh, just doesn't really realize how important this is for the North District, not just for the Central. Because in order to go to the river, you have to go through the Central District, down to the South District to Hunter Park, to, to get to a place similar to what this could be. And, um, and so it's, it's a beneficial to everybody to have that, because it would take, uh, make Hunter Park less crowded too. So, uh, 
but um, that's pretty much what I was going to talk about. But if you have any questions, anybody? Before you take the questions, um, because we're almost out of time, um, do you have um, anything <coughs> that you want oh. people to know as far as the future, you know, oh, the future. actions or something like that? Well, it's, I can, there's some things I can't, I don't, well. Whatever you can, don't say, don't say. Some things we're trying to get, but I'll tell you what we did get in the CIP. That CIP is Capital Improvement Plan. That they, they work this up every year for a five year period, but the first year is the, is the one that's really in concrete. The rest can change drastically. Okay, so we got $300,000. Uh, allocated this coming year for the park, uh, for the city farm. It's under city farm park is what how they listed it. Now you can't get a whole lot done for that now. We could get a lot more th done if the city council would come out with a stronger affirmative vote, resolution, whatever you want to call it, saying this is a park, it will remain a park, and then apply for grants, because they can get grants to uh, build um, uh, like bike trails or hiking trails or other things that would go in the park, so it would save a lot of money, yes. A lot has changed since 1991 when the study was done. No. Uh, has anyone within, I mean, where you say where you far apart, suggested on my, uh, some of the, the parts of the Riverview Farm Park, how it would look today. I mean, because when you look at it, because I went on the website and I read it and I looked and saw how everything was based on 1991 New Purdue's. Oh, everything was based on 1991 New Purdue's. But has anyone gone back and said, this is a little bit different than it was in Oh, okay. uh, yes, we, we don't. The idea was to include all that was supposed to be in the park, but it doesn't mean everything that was suggested in 91 has to be done, because some things have, have changed. Uh, originally they wanted to put baseball fields on mm -hmm. some of the land, uh, uh, softball fields or something like that. They may not do it well. I was just going to add that we've been advocating for a citizen's advisory board mm -hmm. to yes. work with the Department of Parks and Recreations to, um, we realize it's the other plan is 30 years old. Mm -hmm. And the other thing I, like, I think is important for everyone to know, Riverview Farm Park is only second to Newport News Park in use and attendance yes. in Newport mm -hmm. News. It, it far gets more use than any other park mm -hmm. in the city. And I don't understand what you just said. You said that city council voted to make it a park, but then you also well, just they said voted, that it's not really. Well, they voted on the city on the future land use map. Okay, just future. No, no, actually, this, this, this takes us right back, because I started this nonsense way back in the 1970s. I came back from medical school one evening, there was a signpost up, a 250,000 K 